Now, think about how important the energy storage part is. Early human ancestors didn't have refrigerators or food available around every corner. So in a way, we had this primitive wiring in our wonderful brains to influence us to eat as much as we could whenever we could, because we didn't know when our next meal was going to be. And admittedly, even in 2025, sometimes we forget about the wonderful development of our prefrontal cortex, and we revert back to our primitive ancestral wiring, forget we're going to have another meal available to us soon, and just gorge ourselves on food. It happens to me in the movie theater. My primitive feast or famine wiring kicks in and I just can't stop eating that popcorn. But again, this was an effective strategy for survival. We could pack this organ, the wonderful human stomach that you can see here, with quite a bit of food. And this stomach that we have here, I can turn inside out to show you these folds called gastric rugi that really allow for the stomach to stretch and get packed full of liters of food. But after we packed the stomach full of food, and the food was digested and absorbed, we could store the excess as fat, which was an absolute lifeline for hunter-gatherers, fueling long hunts, and surviving famines for weeks at a time. 